My name is Axel Danaridza. 40 years ago, the Danaridza Medical and Repair Technologies was established as a fine mechanical company. All over the years, we started to specialize on repair parts and custom-made products for the medical engineering industry, including instruments and equipment. In addition, we also produce our own instruments especially for the endoscopy sector. Lately, we find ourselves facing a big challenge. The cleaning of the instruments is getting much more difficult and the requirements are getting harder to fulfill. We are now questioning ourselves and wondering how we previously made the grade. I would like to demonstrate it on an instrument. This is an arthroscopy punch. You can imagine how it got used in surgery, and afterwards it is necessary to clean it. You really must clean it very thoroughly and ensure that there are no infections or germs left on the instruments. In terms of our production line, this means that we either build a disposable instrument, which unfortunately creates lots of waste and costs, or we think about a solution to construct an instrument which is easily cleanable. On a recent case, thanks to the software techniques of Ineo, we are able to join different assemblers together. Here we have a shaft, an agile jaw part and a handle. We create it in a way, that we can easily disassemble it in different parts. As you can imagine it is now much easier to clean the different parts instead of cleaning the instrument as a whole. Therefore you need the right software to solve this problem positively. Within EO, we found the right partner to solve this problem. My name is Julian Dagoritza. I am responsible for the product engineering at our company. A few years ago, we implemented Creo 2.0, and not only did we change the area of COD, but also the uniformity to CAM straight away. The Creo Complete Machining Extension Module also covers the area of 5 axis. On top of that, we also use Keyshot to create rendering pictures for online shop or catalogs. My name is Kalind Kleiber. I am an engineer and my job is to fix this slider on this handle, with the help of Creo. It is really easy to build it with Creo. Here I can define different conditions. For example, that this part has to be parallel to this level. I can easily place this part in the right position. Here I can define the distance, or if it should be parallel, or have an angle. And easily, the slider is fixed. With a new array, you can find the commands quickly without long search efforts or wasting time. With the new 3D dragger you can join everything together or move parts without any problems. I am Oliver Wolfley, I am a CAM software engineer at our company and my job is to create CNC programs with the Creo Complete Machining Extension for our CNC machines. Now I would like to show you an example of this task, here we have a water jet cutting part as we get it from our suppliers. My task is the complete processing with the CNC machines. With Creo I define operations with which I can finish production completely and that the product looks like this. Here I have uploaded the complete assembly and I constructed the clamping fixture the same as the whole clamps. Here we have the SVF2, this is the machine I just defined. With the next step, a default template is opened, it's this one here. This one is standardized because we work with a zero point clamping system. Over the integrated library, I build a clamping fixture on top of the zero point clamping and then I place the part here. This is what I made here and in the same way I would clamp it on the machine. Das habe ich jetzt hier gemacht und so würde ich das später auf die Maschine aufspannen. 
Now you can see different adaptions are defined and this is how it starts. We already defined drive curves, the straight lines you can see here. They are there to help the milling tool for orientation and then you can continue to mill along. If you already defined a milling operation with Creo, you then have the possibility to simulate the tool path as well as the option to stop the tool in case of collision. Now, the post processor has translated the CNC program in the machine code. The machine can assimilate the program right away. Last but not least, the program is getting uploaded and the milling can be started. As a small and medium enterprise, we have to face lots of challenges. To grow in the market we must develop a new factory building, but likewise we want to use the latest CAD system from INEO to ensure we are up to date in both a constructive and manufacturing way. This is how we will safeguard a good future for sure.